Hey, what's up, guys? It's been a minute. And, um, you know, I have been, like, super busy with, like, a whole bunch of other stuff in real life. And uh, couldn't have happened at a worse time. As you probably already know from, like, a million other content creators, we're in, like, a massive KVK. Um, you know, we've got Mimi over here. You know, we've got all this stuff over here going on. And, um, oh, wow. I haven't been able to log in for a while. Please forgive me my absence. But, uh, you know, um, I mean, it's kind of a Forza type deal going on here. Stalemate, really. Um, which begs the question, should I even make this video? I don't know. Well, here's the thing, guys. I've been debating whether or not I should upgrade some commanders and what commanders I should upgrade. Because, you know, we got Huo, we got Liu Che. And, uh, you know, we got Herman Prime on the horizon. And Herman Prime's supposed to be a Boudicca replacement, essentially. So the question I have to answer is, do I save my sculptures for Herman? Do I go all in on Huo? Do I go all in on Louis Li Yu Che? Or do I max my current list of commanders like uh i don't know who do we got that needs maxed Boudica. well i mean obviously Boudica is not a great investment anymore in terms of maxing her if you maxed her when she first came out fine now she's five 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 one it's basically all you need she got kind of got stuck there um zuge leong five 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 two now the question I have is, do I max him? I mean, not, obviously, you want him at some point max him. But the problem is, I don't have a lot of archers. I'm not an archer-focused player. Um, I'm a cav player, predominantly, who happens to have some infantry. Um, obviously, you got to have CPO. It's just meta. you got to have... Alexander Nevsky that's what they told me to do <laughs> so um, my content creation is not based upon educating you ab about what you should do with who and what um, there's a million other content creators that already do that and uh, way better than I ever could so I'm not even going to attempt to be that but what I can do is offer you a glimpse into my account my journey my progress in the game and uh you know, kind of drop some gems along the way, no pun intended. So, like and subscribe, guys, if you want to see more stuff like this. Uh, if you don't, then... <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's get into it. So, what do we got? Uh, we got a Sargon the Great. All right, let's max Sargon. All right, psych. Yeah, right. If you don't got Sargon Max by now, don't do it. All right. So I only have, what, 972 sculptures, which is not really going to get me anywhere. Um, I mean, if I max Zhu Ge Liang, it's going to be like 300 something sculptures. I mean, and, and don't get me wrong. I mean, it's freaking worth it. Like his expertise makes it so that you know, it increases your damage dealt by 10% for 15 seconds. That's really good. And you get 30% rage, but mostly his fourth skill is what you really want. The 10% all damage and the extra 1500 damage factor. That's actually really what you're after. But is that 100% necessary for me as I look at my best archer gear? No, it's not. Because here's a little reminder for everyone out there when you're trying to when you're when you have this quandary that I'm looking at right now, 
if you ever find yourself in a quandary where you've got like a lot of five 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 one commanders and you don't know who to max there's really two to three considerations that you should really take into account when you're trying to decide who sh you should max and that is your gear okay now if i max if i wait for herman prime right and i max herman he's gonna get this gear which is booty okay this is probably the worst well i'm not gonna say the worst but if you're uh, i could probably improve this little hand thing you know but i i, I don't you know this archer attack you know nobody really could, like yeah this is i mean eh, you don't want this this is probably the uh, this is terrible okay so especially if you're in the open field right um the goal is to reduce your hospital bill and this is not what happened and it happens with me okay so if this is my best archer gear then i probably shouldn't invest in herman or max zuge leong because it doesn't matter because those are not my primary marches my primary marches are nevsky and oh i can't Ooh, that cpo gear is not looking too good I mean, I could do something in Canyon with that, but not in the open field, especially against the kingdoms we're fighting in this KVK. Okay, there we go. Okay, much better. All right. Um, and even this is not really great, honestly, because you need... Um, expertises on all these, go you know, legendary pieces. And, you know, well, why did you give iconic crystals to pieces that are you know expertise because i felt like it and i might do it again so i'm not no i'm kidding i'm not gonna do it going for it but whatever so uh the thing you gotta ask yourself is okay your gear all right so i got enough gear to where i got one set of legendary um cavalry gear and i got one set of legendary infantry gear so now do i go for huo or liu che well liu I, from what i've seen in uh from huo he's him and nevsky together is like disgusting damage they don't have any aoe though and you know huo is kind of a glass cannon he does phenomenally in canyon though I will say that. So if you care about Canyon, who owes your guy? I have him on my restart or my farm account, and uh, yeah, he does some serious work. I mean, and he should. I mean, he does 2,700 damage factor, single target. That's insane. Asinine, really. Here's my conundrum. If I unlock an expertise Huo, I have to run him with William, which is not a problem because my William is 5551, so that's fine. The problem is I'd have to, because I only have one set of legendary gear, I'd have to get rid of, I, I couldn't run my Alexander um, Joan, and that would be a huge mistake because the AOE and the power of this march is still tremendous, right? So I would never get rid of my nevsky joan for a huo william in the field i mean ideally you'd like to run them together number one i don't have the gear to do that and number two i don't have the troops to do that i don't have enough t5 cavalry right now at this moment to run both of those marches so i mean i i can't I just literally can't get Huo because he would serve no purpose other than to buffer my, you know, marches in Canyon, right? I mean, if you care about Canyon, I guess. Now, Huo, I mean, Leo, Leo Che, on the other hand, um, this is a little bit different because my primary infantry march, obviously, right now is Guan cpo which is obviously amazing right aoe silence obviously of guan 
His march speed, he can hop in a node and get away like really quickly. Um, you know, he's got a little bit of recovery after the battle. Nobody cares about that though, but you know, whatever. It's Guan. He's not going anywhere. I mean, he's been diminished, but he's still good. Now, if I get Liu Che, the, I have to put him behind my CPO. Now, I don't love maxing commanders that are going to be secondary. I had to do that with Joan, but hey, it's Nevsky Joan. It's what you do. Because I feel like that takes away from the primary. But you need pairs in this game. This is a game of pairs. So, um, I've saw the videos. I've seen the damn Now, Sargon... And uh, what you really want to have is Sargon Liu Che. I mean, the damage that Sargon, well, Liu Che Sargon, the damage that they put out is asinine. Okay. Now, to be honest, I've never been a Sargon fan. I don't like Sargon, but you know, there's people who swear by him. Um, you know, you got to stay connected to a target long enough for his, you know, turn by turn damage to to do its thing. So he can stack odd on you, but you know, whatever. I love instant proc damage. I, that's why I love CPO and Alexander the Great because of their in, instant proc damage. Now, together, obviously, nobody uses CPO Alexander the Great, at least not in this stage in the game. But you know, in Canyon, you can get away with it. Um, I really want to find a place for Alexander. I mean, his his museum buff is shit, but uh his his buff to like surrounding troops is crazy like three by three nearby enemies take 30 percent more damage for four seconds i mean that is if you can find a way to get alexander on the field and hide him somewhere i don't know who you would put him with but that would be pretty nuts so I say all that to say Li Yu Che for me would probably be a better choice because then I mean I'd have to sit Guan down to run Li Yu Che because you can't run Guan Li Yu Che that's just stupid nobody does that right so um you'd have to run CPO Li Yu Che right so I'd have CPO Li Yu Che Nevsky Joan and Budica Zuge Liang. And I need to also, you know, make sure that my hospital bill is reduced as possible. I'm not going to be a max tech player, so I'm probably going to get wrecked a lot. So running around an open field with multiple marches is not going to serve you. You have to be real strategic about how you fight. Um, so essentially what I could do is I could max Liu Che, um, put him behind CPO, give CPO Guan's gear, and see how they perform. Um, I could probably try some stuff with Sargon too because he's 5551. Five, maybe get away with something here and there. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, um, that's how I decided to play this. Um, you know, because it's. Um, I don't have the troops and I don't have the gear to do Huo. So I have no choice but to do Lee of Che. Ooh. If I had enough subscribers, y'all, if y'all dare at me, if this was a lot. And by the way, tangent here, I just now figured out how to stream without like, you know, with showing just my screen. Because every time I tried to like live stream, it just shows my face or like the back of the camera. And I'm like, how do people live stream with showing the screen? I'm like, I don't know. I'm stupid. But I figured it out. It took me two days. To get all the softwares and everything, you know, uh, set up. But, you know, I'm going to start live streaming at some point, And that way we can be interactive. And if you dare me to, like, Max Pyrrhus, um, that'd be something I'd do. Of course, if I had the proper donations, that'd be great. But that's another story for another day. I think I'm going to make more videos consistently. So let the fun begin all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to max attila and you're like what you don't and uh don't look at me like that attila i, I didn't put any gold heads into him guys okay the this is something that happened gradually you know they got that little kvk thing where you can get those little keys and everything and you can use the keys to get like commanders so i did that 
And eventually, um, I'm going to, you know, and he was a guilty pleasure commander for me. Um, always wanted to have Attila Takeda, never had it. And now I finally have Attila. I don't, I mean, I've got Takeda, but he's not, you know, good enough. Yay, so finally, Attila is maxed. Boom. Now it's time for the expertise, guys, on Attila. Like 10,000 years later, this commander's troop is immune to being silenced. Oh, so Guan doesn't do anything for you. Their troop deals 20% more normal damage to troops with less than 50% units remaining. Whenever their troop exits combat, it gains 50% march speed for 3 seconds. So, um, maybe I can go hit some farmers with them. I mean, Attila is basically for long combat stuff. Wow, can't believe it. Finally have a maxed Attila. Oh, you can run Attila Nevsky or Nevsky Attila. I don't know. Whatever. That's like real niche stuff. Ah, uh, nice. All right. Um, now it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. Summon. Boom. Liu Che. Yes, indeed. All right. So now that we've got Liu Che going on, we got to come out and buy this bundle, Rider of History, obviously. Ten gold heads for four bucks. Can't beat that with a bat. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, so commander. All right, where's he at? Dang, where's he at? Oh, I just unlocked him, so he's all the way down at the bottom. Okay, that won't be the case for too much longer. Let's get some experience tomes in this guy. Throw a like on here. If you want to see some max commanders once every 5,000 years. <laughs> when I save up the uh, requisite sculptures to do so as a free-to-play player, I don't spend nearly as much in this game as I used to. Um, that's actually going to change starting in January because um, I got a huge contract and so I'm going to have a ton more income disposable income to uh use on this game that's why i'm trying to get this channel back up and running because i need the money i spend in this game to be a tax break a la chisco and everybody else who's a sponsored content creator oh yeah what am i doing oh yeah here we go man an abundance of uh stars oh come on seriously 624 50 thousand knowledge tomes that is nuts I've been saving these things forever do 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 okay here we go level 30 and then here we go develop Bang. Nice. Level 40 Liu Che. Oh, yeah. Ooch, 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 ooch. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm going to see something. I'm going to just not put the skill lock on there and see where the skills will fall. You're like, oh. If I didn't have the sculptures to expertise him, I would never do this. Never do this in real life, kids, because you see how he would come out. Fortunately, I have a ton of skill resets if I was actually going to do this. So, um, or should I, ooh, should I leave him at 5533 and then just like go expertise Zuge Leung? Ooh, isn't that something I could do? Especially if he's going to be a secondary commander anyway. Like, But then he's going to sit there and never get expertise and stay at 3-3. Three, 5-3-3-3. Three, 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 three. <sighs> I don't know. Do, 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 do. Actually, let me go here and just go to the third skill. 
That way I can guarantee a 5533. What do you say, guys? Oh, do I say 5533? I don't know. Nah. Uh, let's do what we came to do. But then, I don't know, guys, because then I could max Zuge Leung. Damn, this is tough. <sighs> Do I leave him at 5533? Three? Eh. No, probably not. F it. <sighs> I just might as well take the skill thing off. And then hopefully we can get 5544. <laughs> That would be hilarious. Nope, of course we don't get 5544. 80 sculptures, golly. Bang. All right. Now it's time for the expertise. It's time for the expertise. Boom. Whenever this commander uh, troops launch a basic attack, they get a 25% chance to get a basic uh, extra one. So what's his base stats? 79,000. With no gear, no armaments, nothing. Wait a minute. Boudicca's got 80,000. Oh, she's level 60. I'm tripping. I'm like, why is his power level so low? Cause he's level 30 he's only a little baby we got to get his ass to level 60 i totally forgot about that and you might say well he's a secondary commander so why would you do that well i want to have some flavor i want to be able to run him primary at some times right because he's capable of being a primary commander right and because I have a gazillion experience tomes, it's not going to be any type of problem to expertise him at all. I'll still have a gazillion experience to leftover and stars and everything else. Now the interesting thing about this is we might have enough sculptures left over to expertise Liu Che too. Wait a minute, what do you mean at the maximum? Oh, okay, I'm like, what the heck? Okay, 60. I I think, guys, we might be able to expertise Lee, uh, Zuge Leong, too. And if we can, that'll make this video 10 times more viral. It won't, but I can dream. Get a like on here and share it. Um... Infantry tree. So he basically the same talents as Alexander the Great. I don't know. My Alexander is probably screwy. Infantry attack. How does that work? Uh, no, Guan is skill. Yeah. No, 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 no. Talents. Okay. So essentially, uh, I don't know if this is the best tree ever. I mean, I did it based on some videos I saw all right so okay do, 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 do. where the hell is he at he's level 60 now come on so many freaking commanders in the game now that it's like dude upgrade 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 down here where else I don't think it went there wait I think this hurts yourself commander troops takes oh wait no one I'm thinking of something else yeah no 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 no, no. go back go back go back damn it I think I effed up <laughs> I don't want to take more damage get out of here exactly um We also less skill damage. Well, 
you know, Leo Che doesn't care about skill skill damage, so you, I guess you have to get this skill max. My bad, sorry. Yeah, Leo Che doesn't care about skill damage, so I guess Martial Mastery becomes uh, pretty relevant there. Deals 2% damage, but also takes a... Nope, we don't want that. Uh, definitely don't want that. Um, three points left. Where do they go? I think they go here, to be honest. They do. Okay, yep. So, yep, this is the... the uh, oh, man. March speed. Damn it. Well, I'd rather have health over March speed. Is there any other March speed in this tree? Hopefully there is, because if it's not, I'm going to be very upset. Oh, 6% March speed. Okay, good. Attack. Any March speed anywhere else? Health. March speed. I mean, I guess we only got 6% March speed. Yeah. Dang. It would have been nice to get that extra march speed, but I prioritize health over march speed. Okay, so now we have a brand new Liu Che that is totally maxed. Um, yeah. I'm not going to have any legendary commander sculptures after this, but. This is nuts. I can't believe it. I think this was the best call, guys, that I could have possibly did. Booyah! Oh, my God. Upon entering bat combat, this commander's troops gain the marquee effect. Increases damage dealt by 10% for 15 seconds whenever they deal skill damage with burning of whatever that word is. Their troops gain 30% rage. Wow, we just saw three legendary commanders get maxed in one video. I'm jealous. Now, are we going to craft any gear for this, or what are we doing here? I don't need that bundle, because I got plenty of stars. <sighs> Alright, so now, this basically changes the game uh, forever. Um, mm, uh, I got to, all my whole configurations got to change. This video, I don't want this video to be too long. Um, I basically just wanted you guys to see my KVK little mini power up. Um, uh, let me see. We can do. Is this going to make any difference in Canyon? Mm, I'm already 55 here. I'm down low. Way too low. Okay. All right, BLN. Let's see. So now, um, that's kind of embarrassing. Get that man out of here. Um, it already wants to put Liu Che first. But I, what I'm going to do is get... Should I run Liu Che Sargon first just to kind of see what happens? I, I'm confused. I don't know what to do. Because I, I could run this so many ways. I could put Liu Che Sargon. I could put Skippy Liu Che. I'm going to just do Skippy Liu Che because they're both maxed. Um, Where's my Skippy? Where the fuck is Skippy? Oh, I'm like, what the? Okay. Skippy Liu Che. This gear is kind of asinine. But... For the sake of whatever, um, Guan, hmm, I don't love Guan CPO and Canyon, I don't, it just doesn't perform well and it dies super quickly, so what if, what if we did Guan Alex, no. Guan Sargon, I don't love that march. I really don't, to be honest. I like Guan. 
this is gonna be stupid. Don't try this at home. Um, Trajan. See, this is where Huo Nevsky would have came into really great. Uh, I don't care. I'm gonna lose because I don't have anything there. Like Trajan's not even gonna be able to buff my troops because he's so far away. Oh, instant proc damage on the um, Guan Alex. Nice. Uh oh. Okay, Guan Alex. All right. Giving everybody else thirty percent more. Da oh my God. Wow. This is a uh, a turn of events here. I thought I was gonna lose for sure. The fact that CPO is still alive with that gear is uh. Wow. He's. He's going to be something on the field. That CPO Luke, uh, Liu Che march. Man. And that Max Zegu... 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 I can't even pronounce it. Zegu Liang. <laughs> is uh, making a big difference. So what it comes down to is Nevsky Joan or Huo William. And we all know... Huo William is no Joan, uh, Nevsky Joan. At the end of the day, it's, an, it's, uh, it's a big damage dealer, but he doesn't have the defensive stats that Nevsky does. So it, with that, we get go up 322 spots in Canyon. Wow. I still got a lot of playing around to do with these configurations, but as you can see, you get what you pay for, or in my case, wait a year and a half for. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. <laughs> like and subscribe, guys. I'm going to be making some more videos. Obviously, we got some fighting to do in this KVK just in time. Uh, I've missed, like, the first three days of fighting because it's been crazy with my job and figuring out, you know, how to. And I didn't want to, like, just do that and hop in battle and not record that for you guys. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, got to join one of these alliances, see where the fighting's at, and put this guy to work. Alright, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.